Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to sponsor Jan on this event. We sponsor almost all, and um, it's great to see that we have now also arrived in uh, Stockholm. Um, I'll be talking to you about Shell Technology Ventures today, but before I do that, I thought it's actually more useful to also spend a, lot a little bit about the company Shell. Because as always, yesterday when I arrived, the question came, which is natural, hey, what doing sh what's Shell doing here? So bear with me, and maybe after this presentation, you'll actually have a little bit of an answer to the question. If not, you can still grab me. So let me let me bring you back more than a century. This is actually Shell as a startup. We started in 1890 in Sumatra, in the jungle in Indonesia, and we were struggling. We were struggling technologically, we were struggling with our operations, and actually at some point we only had three months of cash burn left. Maybe not unfamiliar to some of you in this audience. Um, Shell was not in the business of selling fuels. Shell was not trading LNG for power. And we were not uh, creating chemicals for plastics. We were actually in the lightning business. The kerosene we sold was for lamps, not for jet engines. So let's fast forward more than a century. And we are a different company. Over time, we've entered various new businesses. We've entered various new markets. We've constantly been able to adapt to the world changing around us. This is, I think, a critical background for the, for the next story to come. Um, when you then look at why we're all here today, this is a slide I don't need to speak about a lot here. We are facing a huge energy challenge. Population is growing. Energy demand could by 2060 go up by 60%. And we all have embraced the fact that we need to transition to a lower, car lower carbon world. This is a huge challenge, a huge challenge for the entire energy system. And it needs a lot of creativity. And for Shell, for their long-term success, it's their ability to be able to play in this new world. And this new world has actually also brought us to the creation of something that maybe we're going to give you part of the answer already, of Shell New Energies. Shell New Energies is our renewable business. It started in 2016. It's not that we didn't have any operations before. We were already in wind. We were already big in biomass. But we wanted to make sure that we started a division that would really put Shell up for success in the energy transition. I'm not going to go into all the elements that we're currently focusing on. You can see them on the screen. But you will see that it goes from utility scale solar and wind, the use of storage, to actually the alternative fuels of the future. Will it be EV? Will it actually be hydrogen? Will it be a combination? We're looking into it all actively. And then there's also the element of what we call connected customer. This is more getting closer to the end con consumer as well, and more digital solutions. This is an important background because when I will say a little bit more about Shell Technology Ventures and where we invest in, it's actually this picture that you can remember. If you think there's anything relevant in those spaces, we would actually love to talk to you. Then there's another element that we at Shell found, and you all of you have found as well. Because obviously, when I flew in yesterday, I ordered it via my app. I actually checked out of the hotel via an app this morning. But also the energy world and the mobility world, we see a lot of digitization going on. Um, cars itself it's predicted that actually one third of the new cars that are currently being sold will be connected. They are a computer in itself. This is a huge opportunity for new digital business models. And we actually like to play in this space as well. 
we don't only invest in companies, external startups, we actually try to create them ourselves as well. They're very young, but the companies you see on the screen, one of them you may have found um, Fairpilot, for those of you who were at EcoSummit Amsterdam, it was actually pitching there. It's a great way to actually validate with investors whether they're on the right track and also with the market. Fairpilot helps independent drivers to optimize the way how they find their next ride. Fitcar is a way to make your car a connected car and help you with the maintenance. With connected freight in Asia, we're optimizing logistics and with that actually try to create less tra traffic in cities. And then the last one is Wonderbill, which brings all your utility bills, etc., together and tries to optimize that for you. So don't be surprised if you find one of these startups at a random event. They will not be marketed as Shell. They're just a separate startup but they are with us incubated. Maybe then let me bring to the department where I work, Shell Technology Ventures. Shell Technology Ventures is a strategic venture capital arm. And Michel actually said it for Ineco as well, it's difficult to explain. Um, well, let me try anyway. We are trying to invest in a financially sound manner uh, in a way that we actually can support our strategic journey that we want to be on. Um, so could I invest in a candy store if it's something that could make me, make me very rich? Probably not, right? It's that type of thing. We're a global outfit. We've got offices in San Francisco, Boston, Houston, London, Amsterdam. We're actually also looking to open up Asia as well soon. We're about 25 investment people. Uh, spread, uh, spread around, and we invest in both funds as well as startups. We are stage agnostic. We've done pre-IPO financing. We've done Series A. A seed route would probably be a bit too early for us, but we'll always have a look. Um, and then I think what's also important, we don't want to be a passive investor, um, and that's actually in many ways. First of all, when we invest, we would like to at least make sure that we've got access to the board, whether it's through a director or an observer. It's the only way we found to really be aware of what the company is going on and how we can actually help. Because that actually brings me to, I think, the most important differentiator from a strategic between a financial investor. When we invest, we actually like to find the unfair advantage. And the unfair advantage is actually the companies that we can actually support ourselves. So can we use your technology or business model in the shell operations of today or in the future? And can we with that actually build revenue with you? And hence, it's a double-edged sword to success. Um, moving to a little bit of our portfolio today in the new energy space, we've got about 28 companies totally in our portfolio and we invest throughout the whole value chain of Shell. This is all new energies. And again, you'll see a mix of it. It's hardware technology, so a novel wind turbine, and you'll see software plays for energy in a world. And also, therefore, at the left side or right-hand side for you, you can actually see the funds that we have invested in, and with them, we partner and try to find all of you startups. So, I do want to say one thing about one company, and it actually is an example of why I'm so enthusiastic, and I actually love my job. It's because these companies are doing great things. So an example would be Glasspoint. It's a concentrated solar company, and they are today in Oman building a one gigawatt plant, which by the end of the year will be ready, and it will actually make sure that true solar 6,000 tons of steam will be generated, and that is actually something that would normally be generated by natural gas. So also the oil and gas market itself can become cleaner. Um, I always know that uh, Jan likes to see an announcement at the end. Um, I'm afraid that didn't work out today, so I will extend you an invitation instead. 
Obviously, I hope that I will be able to speak to you over coffee or lunch. But if for some reason we don't find each other, please consider whether you want to come to Amsterdam in two weeks' time to Energy Fest. We've got over 500 people registered already, investors, startups, and other corporates. And again, if I don't find you here, I hope to continue our conversation there. I hope that you've seen from the presentation that Shell, over a century, has been able to transform, move into new businesses as and when they come. And we would actually love to invite you to come in the journey with us. Thank you.